Welcome to week number three of our 13-week novena to St. Anthony of Padua. My name is Father Michael, and I'm standing in our chapel here at the Shrine of St. Anthony. The San Damiano Cross has a predominant place above our altar here in the Shrine Chapel. It was that cross where Francis heard his call, go rebuild my church that you see is falling into ruins. St. Francis wanted to rebuild the church by living the gospel life. And he wanted to spread that word to all people, especially those who never encountered Jesus Christ. Anthony of Padua, Anthony of Lisbon, was baptized Fernando, and he would be known as Fernando as a Augustinian canon. When St. Francis sent his early friars to preach to the Muslims, they went through Portugal, where they stopped at the Santa Cruz Monastery and asked for lodging. Young Fernando heard of the stories and saw the excitement in their faces as they would go out and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those early followers of Francis, they did preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, and because of that, they were martyred. And their bodies were brought back to Assisi, and they stopped once again in Lisbon at that same Augustinian monastery where they had lodging. Young Fernando was taken by these friars, and the excitement that he saw in their faces and the determination of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ moved him to want to follow Jesus Christ in the way of St. Francis. And so he went to his prior and asked for permission, and the prior gave him permission. Fernando changed his name to Anthony, the name of the friary that was close to that monastery of Santa Cruz. Anthony was a lover of Jesus Christ in the way of St. Francis. Each and every one of us are called to spread the gospel, to be preachers of that scripture, and to be able to follow Jesus Christ in our own unique way. St. Francis and St. Anthony are so popular in our church because the way of Anthony and Francis is a way of simplicity and love. We pray that St. Anthony will help us to be faithful to our call. And we pray that St. Anthony, follower of St. Francis, will pray for us. And together we pray our novena to St. Anthony. Anthony, through your teaching and preaching, you bore witness to the loving presence of God in all of creation. Now that you have come into the fullness of the kingdom, Pray for us that our lives might also proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to all of humanity. Pray for us, St. Anthony. Let us pray. Almighty, eternal God, you have given your people, St. Anthony, as an outstanding preacher and intercessor in times of need. Grant that with his help, we may follow the example of Christian living and experience your support in all adversities. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Anthony, follower of Saint Francis, help us find the courage to build up the church through a life of humble service, loyal obedience, and supernatural charity. Saint Anthony, you raise your voice in praise of God and led others to acclaim his name. Instill in me that same spirit of awe and reverence for the God who loves us forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, may you be glorified by our companionship with St. Anthony, the friar priest and doctor of the Gospels. Through the 13 weeks of prayers, may we be renewed in faith, hope, and charity. We ask this with confident trust that through the intercession of St. Anthony, you will bring us the rewards of eternal life promised by Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 